Guys, I just went to put deodorant on and this is what I'm working with. Not my best morning. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Good morning, loves. So welcome to my bathroom. I'm sorry if the audio is a little echoey. Hopefully it's not too bad. I just thought this would be a good place to film a quick little work morning makeup routine sort of thing. Um, it's definitely not a glamorous look. It's very quick and easy. And this is honestly more makeup than I even wear most days. It's just one I want to kind of do sort of a full face, but a quicker and lighter version. So I already started with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one is basically gone. It's like squished all down and I really need to pick up a new one because I have yet to find a primer that works better with my oily skin and really just keeps things in place all day. So now I love to wear full face makeup with a liquid foundation, but for work, I like to keep things pretty low maintenance. So I'm just going to start with concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 15 Fair. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So hopefully I stay in frame for you guys. But I like to just brighten my under eyes and apply it in kind of the typical triangle motion. Um, I'm also pretty generous with this because I like to blend it down to my cheeks to kind of tone down the redness a little bit. And then I do my nose and a little bit up on my forehead to kind of highlight and also tone down the redness there. So then I like to just blend that out with my little Eco Tools sponge. I apologize, it's a little gross. Probably should wash it soon. Um, but I take the smaller flat side and just blend it out like so. Um, I focus it on my eyes for the most part, but I like to pull it down to my cheeks a little bit just to even everything out. So now that I've got that all blended, I'm going to use a setting powder. This is the Revlon Colorstay powder and it is in 810 also fair. Um, everything is fair because I'm super pale in case you hadn't noticed yet. Um, and I'm just going to blend this all over my face. I like to kind of stipple the powder anywhere that I've applied concealer to keep it from creasing and just keep it locked in place. And then I'll kind of just blend a little extra over the rest of my face for a really light coverage and just kind of to keep um, my oils from taking over my face throughout the day. And next I'm going to go ahead and put some color back into my face now that I'm all pale and washed out. I'm going to start with bronzing my face with the NYC Sunny Bronzer, which I think has been discontinued. Let me know if you guys also use this bronzer and if you find it anywhere, but I haven't been able to find it in drugstores lately and that makes me really sad because it's this wonderful, just like really light brown color, which is great for, oh sorry, that's probably really blinding, um, but it's great for bronzing for lighter skin tones. So I'm gonna be bummed if I run out of that and I can't find it again. And then for blush, I'm going to be using this Tarte sample, which I beat the crap out of, but it's this really nice kind of natural peachy color and it works well with my skin tone as well. I'm gonna do both of those with this angled brush here. And I really don't do anything too special with my bronzer, I just kind of like to lightly contour a little bit. And then if I'm feeling fancy, I'll apply a little around my hairline just to kind of warm up my face again. Um, again, this is a pretty low maintenance makeup look, so this is when I'm feeling fancy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that Tarte blush, which is in the color Party with three A's. I've used this in a couple makeup videos on my channel recently because I just love it and I like the color that it gives my skin. Go, go, let me go, go, go. And then I'm going to take the powder brush that I use to set my face and just blend both of those out so there aren't any harsh lines and everything looks nice and natural. Why you trying to hold on? All right, moving on to eyes. I'm not gonna do anything super special. Um, I will start with priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer just to make sure that I don't have any creasing throughout the day. Okay, 
And then for a really simple eyeshadow look, I'm just going to go back in with this NYC Sunny bronzer and a fluffy crease brush and just blend that through my crease to give my eyes a little bit of quick definition and make it look like maybe I tried when I got ready this morning. Next I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to be using a little eyelash curler here and then the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. This is in uh, what color? I think brownish black. Yes, brownish black just like chucked it on the floor one second. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just curling my lashes now. And mascara is definitely one of my everyday essentials, even when I don't do most of these steps. In the mornings when I'm running late or just don't feel like making a big effort, I will curl my lashes and put on some mascara because it just makes me feel more put together. And since I have a lighter hair color, um, mascara really works wonders for my lashes and kind of just wakes up some tired eyes and, you know, makes me feel a little more ready for the day. Let me go, go, let me go, go, let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. Last but not least, I'm going to do my brows really quickly. The first product that I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. I've talked about this about a million times on my channel, but it's super nice because you get the pencil and powder all in one little stick here. And then I also have the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and this. These are both in blonde, so since I have kind of a blonde-ish hair color, um, I think that it all matches pretty well. So again, this is kind of what I'm doing the most. If I'm doing a really quick makeup look um, for work and, you know, just wanting to get out the door really quickly, because I'm usually just kind of hanging out in my bed until I really absolutely have to get up, um, then I'll skip this step altogether and just do the tinted brow gel. But um, I've definitely done this multiple times on my channel in any makeup video that I've done. I really like to keep my brows pretty natural. I honestly don't even get them waxed. Um, I just like to kind of keep their shape by tweezing and uh, then I fill them for some definition and that's really it for that. <laughs> so after I get the shape that I'm looking for with the pencil side, I go in with the powder and just kind of darken things up a little bit and fill everything in. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this and I'll go ahead and set with this brow gel. And throw it out the window. I think that you should let go. And this is pretty much it. I might go ahead and add a lip color because I'm feeling fancy and since I'm filming this for you guys. Um, but that took a little over 10 minutes. I'm at 11 minutes that my camera's been recording now. And that was probably really that long just because I was talking you guys through it because normally it takes me between five and 10 minutes to do this. It's really easy, you know, super natural, but definitely kind of makes me feel a little more put together than if I just kind of roll out of bed, shower and run out the door. Um, so yeah, this is my kind of no fuss everyday makeup routine for work um, when I'm wanting to put that extra step forward and have my life together. So last but not least for my lip color, I'm going to apply this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Amsterdam. It's this really pretty, like kind of dark, but also bright at the same time red color. And I find that it just works really well with my skin tone and is just such a fun pop. And I feel like it makes me look like I put so much more time in my makeup than I did. <laughs> All right, now that I have that all applied, I'm going to set my face really quickly with the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, one of my trademarks and one of the ways that I keep my face matte for most of the day, you know? Oily skin, you can just do your best to combat it. Basically, it's still gonna fight back and do what it wants to, kind of like curly hair. I have a fun combination going on with both of those. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I just let my hair down and threw on a scarf and I'm going to run off to work. I hope that you enjoyed this super quick kind of tutorial, get ready with me video. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I think that this makeup look is pretty decent. It's nothing super special, but it definitely makes me feel more put together and it's super quick and easy to do every morning. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests for upcoming videos or any thoughts about this video, make sure to leave me a comment below and say hi. I love chatting with you guys. And speaking of that, if you want to follow me on any social media, it will all be down below. I'll throw a screenshot of my Instagram feed over here. I've been working really hard on it. I know that's such a basic thing to say, but Instagram's a lot of fun and I love connecting with you guys on there. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop self-promoing now, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Somebody, but I hate to think about you with somebody